Now to a story you'll only see on Coin6. The Coast Guard announcing marijuana use was one of the factors behind a commercial fishing vessel that capsized early last year in Tillamook Bay, killing two people. And now family members of one of those victims wants justice. Jamie Seymour in Garibaldi with the Coast Guard's year-long investigation into the deadly accident. The Coast Guard says a variety of conditions led to the capsizing of the coastal rain last February, including drug use by the owner and operator of the boat just 30 minutes prior to attempting to cross a dangerous part of the bar at Tillamook Bay. A year-long investigation into a deadly boat capsizing in February of last year took a surprising turn as the Coast Guard released its findings in a town hall. The totality of the circumstances, in my opinion, in my opinion, was negligent. In February 2021, the coastal rain, a commercial fishing vessel, capsized while attempting to cross the bar at Tillamook Bay when returning from a crabbing expedition. The Coast Guard responded with rescue boats and a helicopter from Astoria, but two on the fishing vessel didn't make it. Todd Chase and Zachary Zapponi were killed when the boat capsized. Investigators cite survivor testimony and evidence found at the scene, saying marijuana use was used by three of the four people on board, including the owner, Brandon Anderson, for a majority of the nearly 40-hour trip. The drug use and the last time they smoked marijuana was 30 minutes prior to crossing the bar. The Coast Guard found that the drug use, coupled with about two hours of sleep and a difficult crossing area with warnings in place, all led to the boat capsizing, which was being driven by Anderson at the time. A reasonable mariner would have been able to do it and did and have both before and after Mr. Anderson uh, attempted to do it. Marijuana use, fatigue. Since the Coast Guard is unable to pursue these charges directly, they've referred the case to the U.S. Attorney's Office for prosecution, but so far Anderson has not been charged for the negligence found by the Coast Guard, something the victim's family members expressed anger at during the Coast Guard's town hall this evening. The person was smoking marijuana and driving down a highway and you take a life, that's manslaughter. So, so me, and then me, it's okay and you have proof that in, in evidence and in this guy just gets to walk. Family members added to Coin 6 off camera that they would like to see accountability for actions. The Coast Guard added that when brought in, Anderson pleaded the fifth. So far, it doesn't appear if the U.S. Attorney's Office has made any criminal charges against that owner of the boat, Brandon Anderson. We did reach out to their office this evening, but it was already after hours, so we have not yet heard back. The Coast Guard is also referring the case to the state's district attorney's office. Reporting in Garibaldi, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.